December 15th is actually nighttime. <laughs> it's about eight o'clock at night. I'm just now getting on here to talk to you guys really quick. Um, I, I'm gonna show you, I bound off a few days ago the breaking plaid shawl for my niece. Um, and just as I feared, it's essentially a giant triangle. I mean, it's a triangle shawl, but like, you'll see what I'm saying. So I'm about ready to block it. So I wanna show you guys before. I'm gonna take measurements and then I'm gonna go ahead and block, like block the crap out of it basically. It's gonna be as blocked as it can go like widthwise. Here, let me show you. Okay, so it's a giant triangle. I don't know. <laughs> it's too... So, okay, it looks great, right? I mean, this is buffalo plaid if, you know, I ever saw it, right? Okay, so this part, ginormous. I mean, it's like a bib on me. I don't know how my little niece is going. <laughs> Essentially, she should, or I would, right? Fold it down, then wrap. So it shortens it and look, it's reverse reversible because it's double knitted, double knitting. Is that, is that how you say it? Double knitted? <laughs> um, so this is long. When I laid it out, I'm like, okay, this top part is wider. So it's not like a perfect triangle. At first time I bound off, I was like, that's like a perfect triangle. <laughs> that's not how it's supposed to be because these edges right here need to wrap around and hang down. So... I'm hoping it'll block nice. I'm going to aggressively block this way and not the long ways. It does not need to be any longer. <laughs> it needs to go wider. So we're going to block this out here. Um, pray for me. <laughs> Cause I just, that was so much work. I'm, but at the same time, I'm not giving her a shawl she can't wear. It's ridiculous. When I wrapped around my neck, it'll barely come around and hang over my shoulders. Like barely. I mean, I know I'm bigger than her, but dang. So also what I'm going to do, because like in the sample, they have tassels there, there, and there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add tassels on the sides. Not down there. does not need to hang down any lower. <laughs> we, we're trying to make it shorter at this point. Um, that way, it's twofold. She'll be able to know which ones that's supposed to like wrap around her and which one's supposed to hang down. And also, hopefully it'll give it a little bit of weight that it'll just kind of like, when it wraps around, cause it's not gonna be super long over her shoulders. When it wraps around, it's going to stay there with like, the tassels will just assist. I mean, they're not gonna be heavy, but they'll, you know, be a little bulky and they'll help a little bit. But it's going in the bath. It's gonna take, some, uh, take a nice relaxing spa bath before I get really aggressive with it <laughs> and block it out. Cause I don't wanna start drying. I'm gonna put the fans on it. Tonight, I'm gonna give it a couple days to dry. I'm gonna take measurements before and after. So hopefully I'll, you know, be able to see some progress. And yeah, wish me luck.
today is December 16th. It's Thursday. Um, it's my last day of work for before the holidays. I'm taking a really long holiday break. My mom's coming tomorrow night. So excited. Um, I try to take the time off if I can when my mom comes to town. She only comes, she only flies in once a year. So um, a lot to get done today. I've got a lot of work to do, my regular job. And then after that, today, after work, I gotta finish shutting up my mom's room. Um, I washed all the bedding yesterday. I seen to put together her bed. And I also bought a nightstand for the guest room. So I wanna go ahead and put that together for her. Um, and I think that's it for her room. But then I also need to wash my son's bedding for his room because we get him on Saturday. So excited. It's also the first time my mom has been able to see him at college, like see his campus and see him in uniform. So it's gonna be really cool. He goes to a military college. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be a really, really great couple days. I have a lot of things to do. I just opened my advent, it's lunchtime. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you because this morning before work, I was working on my Merrily shawl and I'm basically almost done with clue two. This is week three, so I should be working on clue three. But I'm almost done with clue two and I'm switching to a longer cable so I have it all kind of spread out. So I want to show you before I finish switching it and have to scrunch it up again a little bit and show you the cool details that Rebecca McKenzie from Raging Pro Win. It's her pattern, Merrily with yarn from Rising Tide Fiber Coat. It was a kit, like a make-along, a holiday make-along. Um, and it's looking so good. So I want to go ahead and show you guys. So here's the Merrily shawl so far. I am almost done with clue two. Like here I am uh, putting on the new cable, almost done with this row, and then I just have to go back uh, one row and then I'm done with clue two. Um, isn't it great? The lighting is not so good right now, but I wanted to show you the details of it all spread out. So this is a winged triangle shawl. And I don't think I've done one like this shape before and I love it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> doing okay um oh you guys you get a little cute olive and she's never usually like this she definitely doesn't usually like yarn i don't know what she's doing she better not be getting any funny ideas okay so <laughs> um here okay first of all look at this this was clue one it was clue one up through, I believe, here. So this all was clue one. And look at the star stitch separated with these garter eyelet sections. I mean, I love that. It just matches this yarn perfectly. And then we started fading in color B. So you can kind of see, like you can see the like hint of green. So it's, it's really very muted like a very slight, slight difference in color compared to this. Like you, I couldn't even tell at first, but you can definitely see it more now that I've like put more yarn on. So we did another star row, we faded in the other color. I definitely have more left over this time than I did last time. So I'm not as concerned with running out of yarn again, but look at this. I've probably knit all of Rebecca shawl patterns or at least almost all and I've never seen her do this and I love this. It's like a drop stitch section. Oh my gosh. It's so cool. She just had, I'm telling you, Rebecca has this way of making the like, like these wasn't hard to do. Like all these things are not hard to do and hard to memorize. She makes these easily memorable, <laughs> easily memorable um, easily to memorize patterns that are quite simplistic really, but so like cool looking. So it's really great for nothing too hard, but it looks really cool. She's really great at that. So like beginners can do this stuff. Okay, okay what's going on? What is going on? Need some attention? So, isn't this great? I just, and as I'm like, it's so soft too. Like as I'm knitting this section, it's so soft. As I'm knitting above, my fingers are touching this part. Oh my gosh, I'm loving this. So the next color for clue three, which I do have, that was this week, is that color. Look at how that's gonna perfectly blend. Melissa from Rising Tide Fiber Co. did an amazing job. 
and I can't wait. This Sunday I'll open up the last one, which is clue four. And that yarn is gonna be a 100 gram skein. And that will be the final clue for this shawl. I love this so far. I just love this, Rebecca, you killed it. And I love the shape. I love, cause I love the wingspan on this. So cool. I just can't, I can't stop looking at it. <laughs> so nice. This is a DK weight pattern. I don't know if I said that already. I do not know anything. I should probably ask Rebecca because I keep saying that in my videos. <laughs> I don't know anything about how if, if and when she will release this because it was with the make along kit. So I don't know if it will ever be released or if it's just like a delayed release or what the, what the deal is. I'll find out from Rebecca and I'll let you guys know because I keep saying that and like Rebecca's my friend. I could just ask her. <laughs> I don't know why I haven't. Oh, okay. So yeah, this is awesome. So pretty. Another thing on my to-do list today um, is to get this kind of fix, this advent calendar. So as you know, or I probably could tell, our family loves advent calendars. All the kids have them. My husband has them. I have way too many. Um, and so when my mom comes, um, she comes every year for Christmas for about a couple weeks. Um, so when my mom comes, I always get her an advent as well. I get her things to help participate in all of our traditions, like... We do pajamas as our Christmas Eve present um, that the kids get to open. They get to open pajamas. They don't know. I mean, they're not supposed to know, but it's always pajamas, new pajamas for that night. And also a game that we all play like Christmas Eve night. Um, so we always get her pajamas as well as a present. We like her to like, you know, participate with our family um, traditions. So I asked her this year what she wanted um, for her advent. And so she picked out this really cute 12 days of coffee. That's a cute little tree. And so I ordered it when it came, I'm like, wait, you can like see all of the advent or all of the coffee names, um, which some people like that and then they can pick which one they want, but I want it to be more of a surprise. Like she has to pick one and that's the one she's got to drink. <laughs> so I'm going to open this because she's coming tomorrow. I'm going to open this and I want to, I got these like round stickers that I'm going to put over this and I'm going to number them. The only thing is, I think that'd be the easiest way. The only thing is I hope it's not like, I don't want it to be super sticky. I'm going to have to try it out. I don't want them to be super adhesive because I don't want, I want to be able to peel it off easily so they can, so she can then use it and see the, um, coffee name on the K-Cups. So let me go ahead and get started on that and then I'll show you guys what I end up doing. Okay, it's ready for dinner. So I'm making... I never show what I cook because, quite frankly, I hardly do. <laughs> but HelloFresh helps with that. I really like it. I like this one. We're substituting this because Brooke does not eat this, and it's only me, Brooke, and Damon. <laughs> and then we're I'm making French fries separately. because look how wide it is. I believe I had it at like 49 and a half inches before I blocked and now I'm up to 68 <laughs> with a wingspan. So I definitely aggressively blocked it and I've already like took out the pins and I let it just sit there and rest. So I know this is its resting length or width or whatever. I only pinned the sides. I did not pin the bottom. And I didn't care if this ended up looking more stretched than this part because this is the part that's gonna be in the front anyways, and those are the parts that are wrapped around the neck, so it doesn't really matter. And maybe it doesn't look that different. Like, it does a little bit looking, when you look at it from here, but like, she's gonna love it. I think I'm still gonna add the tassels on that end and that end, just to give it an extra little pizzazz. 
not adding any more business on here. Does not need to be any longer. So yeah, I think it'll be really cute. I think, I haven't decided, I think I'll have black tassels with the red accent. I think that's what I'm doing. Hi, Brooke. Hi. <laughs> so yeah, yay, it worked. Oh my gosh, I was so like worried that I just spent all that time on something that was gonna be like ridiculous to give somebody. Especially when you're a knitter, you don't wanna like give something to somebody when they're like, what am I supposed to do with this? Then they'll never ask you again. And it's like, yeah, this is what I do for fun. I make things that nobody can use. <laughs> like, seriously. So, yeah, I'm really excited. I clearly, like, today is fr no Thursday the 16th. And I will obviously not, I haven't even cast on my sisters yet. I need to get Lincoln's hat done, the bear hat. And then I'll cast on Angie's maybe before Christmas, but I'll just tell her it's a, I'll give it to her when it's basically it's done. Like she won't care. I'll see her. I can give it to her then. But I want to make sure all the kids have something to open. So yeah, some for my niece London. I'm so excited to turn. I hope she loves it. An update on my Arabian Tales blanket. I started adding in the second row. Yay, it's so pretty. I love it. It's getting easier by this one. I'm kind of figuring it out. This is Arabian Tales by Svetlana Gordon. And remember, I modded it, so this is supposed to be a shawl. One, two, three, four wide. And I tripled the width to make it a blanket. I'm planning on making it blanket width, like, larger than a throw, but not like a bed, bed blanket. Okay, so I don't know why this color looks like that all of a sudden. <laughs> it's not what it looks like in real life. It's more of like an aqua, this is like an aqua, and this is more of like a chestnut, not a weird greenish brown. What is it with these cats and coming up to me today? Hi, Nyla. This is Nyla. Nyla! Earlier was Olive. Nyla is the yarn stealer, so she's probably like smelled or heard the yarn come out of the bag. So that's the next color. It's going to go here. I don't know why it looks like that. It doesn't look like that in person. It's really weird. Like chestnut reddish brown and aqua not this weird greenish brown tint i don't know <laughs> maybe it's still lighting i'll get better light tomorrow or some other day but yeah so this I'm, it's moving along i really like it it's just the update um yeah okay you guys you'll never guess what i did today i am all caught up through today's color this is what I opened today. This is my Rising Tide Fiberco Advent. And there's a cat. <laughs> what are you doing? Hi. What are you doing? Hello. All right. This is um, Just Feel Cozy Wrap by Kalisha Ryan. This is crochet. It is held double. So I am, it's fingering held double. Your fingering weight minis. You get three rows exactly out of it. It's a little bit more than that, but... Um, I chose to just do even rows. So I am, oh, block, these are easy to be blocked, obviously. All caught up. Ow. Ow. Stop. That hurts. She like attacked my leg. Okay, you know what, Spunky? Okay. Um, look how pretty this is. This is the Regency Advent, because Rising Tide Fiber Co. had a couple. This was the Regency one based off Bridgerton. And I just love this. It's looking so cool. It's a little, like I'm, more, I'm over halfway done and it's shorter than I expected it to be at this point, but I know this will block out like with, like lengthwise. So I'm not worried about it. But yeah, isn't this pretty? And so I have the 24 mini skein, no 25 with this and I have a full skein. So I can always add more if I want to. But yeah, all the way up through 16. There's 16 colors here. Loving it.
guess what just happened? Mom got ducked. <laughs> I got ducked again. I'm so excited. Brooke showed the duck. <gasps> I got ducked. We were at the hospital getting Brooke's lab work done and we come outside and Brooke was like, mom, you got ducked. I'm like, what? So this was sitting on my door handle. And if you don't know what it means to get ducked, it really <laughs> just like, it means- When you're a Jeep owner. When you're a Jeep owner and another person with a Jeep sees your Jeep and they think it's cool, you get a duck and they like these rubber duckies and they put it on your thing or they can just hand it to you. But usually it's like they do it like secretly and put it like right there on their thing. They put it on my door handle. It's so cool. So <laughs> I love that. So I'm, that ah. made my day. That made our Friday, right, Brooke? I mean, I was more excited for Panera, but. So now we, I'll show you how we got it all um, situated on our, on our uh, dashboard. Yay. He's already got a spot. <laughs> so my other ducks, my my new ducks already got a spot. Awesome. <laughs> it's Friday, December 17th. Brooke and I have had a busy day today already. Um, she had a couple appointments this morning and today, and then we met Angel from the Scrappy Angel, and we went to Barnes and Noble, where we were going to pick out our um, pick out our planners for next year. So we had a fun, and a lot, we had a lot of fun, and we ended up getting the same exact planner because it was the best one there. Uh, so we had fun. We sat there in the little Starbucks in Barnes and Noble, and we knit, and we had coffee, and had fun. Brooke browsed all the books. Um, so now we're home and we're getting last minute things ready before my mom gets here, before her flight arrives. And now we're on our way to go and pick her up at the airport. But first, before I go get mom, I want to go ahead and show you my purchases at Barnes and Noble. So we first went there for, Angel and I went there to get a planner, pick out a planner. So we each actually picked out the same exact planner because it was like the best one. This is B, Lady Jane. I like this part of it. And then it's got some cute stickers. It's got nice little sayings and stuff. Now it started in like August, so I'm probably just gonna either like just leave these in or just take them out because it's kind of thick. I might just take them out. But I like the month at a glance. I like the full two page for the whole month. And then I really like the weeks. I love this long for the days and then extra notes and reminders. I love that so you can just write how you want it. And at the end of every month, it's got monthly reflections, which I really like too. It's really nice. So we got our planners for next year and it's really pretty. And then of course I got some stickers to go with it. Just a book of stickers basically. And I really liked it because there's llamas in here. <laughs> it's mainly because on the back it said llamas. And I'm like, where? Where are the llamas? I looked through it like three times before I found llamas. I'm like, so I'm not buying this if there are not any llamas. <laughs> Angel can attest to me flipping through this. There they are. Aren't they cute? But yeah, I like little, this is as, as creative as I get with my planners. I'll put some stickers in there and maybe like a doodle or two when I'm bored. But like, that's about, that's about it. That's as far as I get. I want to be cool, creative like everybody else. I just am not. I do like stickers, though. So, and then, I have heard so much about this whole series. And I knew I wanted to read it. Um, and so I'm like, you know what? I'm going to read it in January. Or at least start it, maybe. And I'm like, I might as well buy the first book. So, Court of Thorns and Roses. I went ahead and got the book. The first one. Excited to start that. And then this one, I didn't even buy. Angel bought it for me. <laughs> it was like... I didn't even see it because I, I went ahead of her at Starbucks in the Barnes and Noble and it was like buy any cafe item get this for five bucks and I didn't even see this and so she saw it after me and then we were looking at it and it looks really good and interesting like right up our alley so um she got one for her and for me <laughs> so thanks Angel I'm actually really excited to read this one it looks really cool A twisty thrill ride looks really good then I got two new books and my planner and stickers I'm really excited about that. And I did get a couple Christmas items, gifts that I'm not showing, even though I don't think my son watches this or quite frankly, let's be real, Brooke doesn't watch this even though she's in it. I got her a couple things. I also got my son a couple big things. I'm so excited because that's kind of what I miss about shopping. 
like online shopping is so convenient. I love it. I use it mostly, but like I need a couple more gifts for each of the kids and I was at a loss and like just wandering around a store is when you find all the good stuff. I'm like, oh, he would love this. I'm like, this is, that's the part of us about shopping. Not the lines. <laughs> I don't miss the lines at all. Okay. And then I want to show you guys my, um, what was a notch update? No, this is all cause I haven't shown it the last couple of days. I showed this color last, I think. Then we got to another purple. You guys know I was so excited about that. And this cool brown color. But then comes this like bluish gray color, which I barely got any done. And actually, I should have recorded this. See, Angel, I told you I'm not good at this. So when we were in Barnes & Noble knitting, um, Angel, because I didn't bring mine, but she brought hers. She's like, it's okay if I show you. I'm like, yes. So she actually like, we we watched together. She pulled out the next color. And we were all like, ooh. <laughs> I could have videotaped that. That would have been good for the Vlogmas, Angel. I'm terrible at this. Um, but yeah, it's a really great color. At first, when we pulled it out, we're like, oh, it looks like that color, but it's not. It's definitely more blue-gray, and when it knits up, it definitely looks different than that color. It's so pretty. We love this. It's awesome. And then, okay, so the reason I'm really showing this, besides giving an update on the colors, is Angel. She's like, I have something for you. And she pulled out her leftover ball of this scrappy mini for me. Because she'd been seeing on my blog, this is how I was unsure of how I was going to do my heel. Because I didn't have enough. Where's mine? So here's mine. Mine, because I've only done the cuffs. So mine's big. I've only done the cuffs. She was using hers to do heels and toes. And then she's already done her heels and toes because her socks are toe up. And she gave me her leftover bit so now I can do the heels. Isn't she the sweetest? Thank you, Angel. See, now I don't need to contemplate anymore, try to figure it out. This color will be my heels, toes, and cuffs. See, knitting friends are the best friends. Hey. <laughs> I'm here. Merry Yay, Christmas. Merry Christmas.